Hello and welcome to part 4 of our video series. Today we'll be talking about predefined layouts. Now predefined layouts are layouts which are designed by other designers in order for anyone to use them by importing them into your designs. So in this video I'll be showing you step by step how to import and how to customize these predefined layouts. In the future I'll be doing some designs which I will be sharing with you so uh, just keep an eye on that. This is a great way of actually designing layouts which can be used on other websites or other projects. So without wasting a lot of time let me show you how to use predefined layouts to build your web pages. Okay so the next page we're going to build here is the landing page but this time instead of building the page from scratch or building it using the predefined layouts this time we're going to use our layout packs that we released during our Divi 100 series. These are professionally designed layouts which are free to use so you can go onto our Divi blog and download these layout packs. But what I've done now is I've gone ahead and downloaded an example so I'm just going to show you how to load these. So I'm going to go ahead and, and enable the visual builder and this time uh, I'll come all the way down here to the bottom and then we're going to use this portability. Now you can go into import, choose file. As I mentioned before I've gone ahead and downloaded the uh, layout packs already ahead of time so I just need to find where it is and it's here and we've got it here DV100 landing pages layout kit. Now I've downloaded this example the uh, landing page one so all you need to do is to click that that dot JSON file click open and then that gets loaded into the library and then what we can then do is once it's loaded we can just go in and select it. So the landing page from our layout kit is now loaded into the library so all we need to do now is to um, load it from the library. So I'm going to click this plus sign and then this time instead of using the predefined layouts as we did in the about us page now you have to click on add from library and here we can see that I've loaded both of them. So all you do is click on the uh, page and just like magic it installs and it has your full layout. Now the next step is uh, pretty much just going in deleting the stuff that you don't need like for example this wirekit volume 1 I don't need that so I can just delete the module just like that. Um, I don't know if you've noticed but the font that we have here is different to what we have on the uh, on the other pages and the font is called Ubuntu so this is where you can just go in and change that font. So I'm going to come here to the text settings and then just uh, find uh, Ubuntu like that. Okay that's much better and I can, go, I can also go to this text and also change that to Ubuntu. Okay so uh, pretty much you know this these steps are very important because you want to make sure you have the consistency but if this font is similar to or using the default font there's no need to go through this whole process. So um, just go ahead change um, the fonts or even delete and add uh, sections that you don't need but this acts as a very good starting point as you build your pages. Okay so once you're happy with, uh, with that all you need to do now is to come to the bottom of the page and then click save. So that does it for this video. In the next video I'll be talking about how to put together a contact page and also how to do fun stuff like creating a video background and also how to use parallax. Until next time thanks for watching and see you soon.